Hey y'all, this is your girl Martha from BU Crafty. If you haven't already, hit that follow button for me and hit that favorite button as well just so you can get those notifications because all these Facebook changes and I also do a hashtag replay for me. Now this is a pre-recorded video, so you know, just this is a pre-recorded video. You did not miss a live, I promise. Uh, I have this little frame here that I got for like 79 cents at the thrift store in my stash, okay? Here's the back of it. I'm sure some of y'all recognize the uh, frame. It says, Terrible is a, is a Tiger. It's like a little preschool picture thing. We are going to jazz this up and turn it Christmas. And I'm actually going to paint this frame black and see how it goes. See how it goes. See how it goes, y'all. And this is... Ink by Waverly. Ink by Waverly. That's what we got going on here. And we are pretty much just painting this whole thing. I'm going to get the back of it as well, y'all. Because um, this will be something that is going to um, be sold. So I want to make sure everything looks good. And, uh, you know, all the paint strokes not going the same way and stuff. Um. But anyways, I hope y'all have had a good day. I hope um, y'all got to craft some today. I hope so anyways. I hope so. Inside the frame though, it is, it's like a thick, thick, thick paper. So, you know. But I love the details on this. And we are probably going to add just a little bit of white to pop some of the details in there. But I, could, I kept figuring out like what on here that would uh that would definitely you know work with what we're gonna do and i think y'all really gonna like it because they're getting christmas out y'all they are getting christmas out at the dollar tree so i gotta give y'all ideas on some things so yeah so tell me what y'all are most looking forward to this holiday season uh, what are some projects that you hope to get done? And that, do you think you're going to be able to get done with all of your, uh, projects you got going on? Or do you think that some things you're going to have to wait till next year? Let me know, y'all. I want to know these things. For me, I am trying my best to make sure, like, doing pre-recorded videos like this. So, yeah. So, I am pretty excited. This is looking good, y'all. This is looking so good. And I am hurrying. I am hurrying. We're going to dry this. And then I am going to uh, go around the edges as well. Ooh, I don't know. I might not need to do any type of white on here, y'all. I might not. So, let's see. We're going to dry this. And, um, and I'm going to paint the back side so everything will be nice, pretty, and crisp. I have to be kind of careful because this is a plastic frame, so I don't want to melt it. Because this heat gun will melt some stuff, y'all. Will melt some stuff. Ooh, this is so. I'm gonna tell you, I can't go on the first time I want to use this frame for a Halloween craft or Christmas craft. And then I was like, no, 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 I have an idea because I've been wanting to use an ornament from the Dollar Tree, and I did um a picture frame craft with them. Like, last year or two years ago, I can't exactly remember, but I wanted to do it again because there's so much fun to, um, there's so much fun to use in crafts. So, you know, I'm going to turn this over like this, and I'm going to paint away over here, y'all, around the edge. And, um, so yeah, let me get this back real fast. I think that this black, I think I made a good choice. I think I did, y'all. I, I would never thought that I would put black in Christmas. Like, I would have never thought of that. I've always been more of a, uh, you know, red, green, or blue, like a blue Christmas. I have done that one year. A blue Christmas. So, you know. <laughs> Do what, babe? That is Josh in the background, by the way, y'all. Do what, Josh? 
I guess so, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is when I have my trailer. I didn't believe Christmas. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. We were going to use um, the Apple iPad, y'all, but then we realized we our tripods didn't fit, didn't fit on it, so we got to get gotta get that rolling so but we are going to get things rolling aren't we josh that way i can get it face down and y'all haven't seen me talk that's okay i like talking to y'all anyways it's all right it is all right so y'all we just got back from the ohio trip last night so it was a lot a lot of fun uh we had a blast didn't we josh we did uh, you know, the only thing I think the guy stand was, and it wasn't even traffic, traffic. It was construction getting in the way. So, it was definitely that. It wasn't like, uh, like normal things. I, get, I don't know what you'd consider normal, but it wasn't anything like that. It was definitely construction, y'all. Construction in Ohio. Y'all high folks got some construction. Well, then we have some in Kentucky, too. Yeah, in Kentucky. Y'all remind me of here when we had all our construction. We just got done. Oh, I got pain on me. Hold on. We just got done with our construction, didn't we? Here in um, our lane over here in Alabama. So, all right. And I'm just kind of, just kind of taking my brush and putting a little edges because this does have some waves to it. Even though, like, it doesn't look bad. It just, I just want to make sure everything looks good. And, uh, yeah. Yep. And y'all, please don't forget to S-H-A-R-E this video out. And I'm going to dry this. And then I got to paint that one little part, y'all, that I touched. And I'm using chalk paint on this frame. Um, because it'll just adhere better. Um, and it had texture to it, so I knew that it would, the, the black chalk paint would stick. But if yours is like a smooth surface, you might want to apply Mod Podge or sand it down before you put your, uh, chalk paint on it. Because I definitely wouldn't use any type of acrylic or anything on, on like plastic guys. So, just kind of keep that in mind. When you are doing this kind of stuff, you know, all these, you know, paints and stuff. Let me kind of spread that out. Okay, so now, let me kind of turn this over and then let me kind of paint this right here. That's the one side I could, didn't get, y'all, but it's okay. I got enough paint on this paintbrush, so we are going to get it. All right. Let's see what we got. And then there's that. And there's that. If I can paint on me again. In that little area. Me and that paint thing. We're going to have it. Ouch. Ow. Okay. I think I'm good. Let me uh, wipe my hands off. Real fast. And this is gorgeous y'all. This is absolutely gorgeous. All right, let me hurry up because it's supposed to be a fast little craft, hopefully. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Josh is distracting me behind the camera, y'all. All right, let me get myself cleaned up. Get myself cleaned up, and then let me do another good dry around these edges. That way I know I got it, and then let me kind of make sure I don't have anything that we don't want to show. But even if it does, it's still going to be absolutely gorgeous. So, you know, this is going to be pretty. Yeah. The back turned out good as well, so yay, y'all. This is going to be pretty. Okay, let me kind of look and make sure. As I knock down my white shawl with my uh heat gun. Alright, so we have the little frame that I painted completely. 
black and look at the details there y'all we might do a little bit of white over it let's let me see let me get what we're gonna put on there josh babe that's a bad idea <laughs> that's a bad idea you got it <laughs> i told us my idea because we have my christmas fan over here y'all because i had to pull out my christmas fan and i'm like that's not a good idea bud all right Let's do this real fast. It's real life here, y'all. Real life. Bless my heart. It's real life. Okay. All right. We have this little ornament right here that we got from the Dollar Tree that we are going to put on this. And it is going to be absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, y'all. Yes. I like that. Okay. So, I'm going to take this little, um, the red on here. And I'm going to save this for something else. Okay, y'all. I'm just not going to use it for this, but I will save it. So, we're going to glue this down on here. And this is just like an easy peasy craft. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, I'm just going to just put some glue on there, y'all. Make sure it's going to stay. And I'm going to line it on up in this frame. And I'm going to sit it on down. And I'm going to add some more glue down here. Where the hat is. Well, let me get my little glue stick out. Y'all, yeah, st I'm still trying to get in the groove of this. I didn't even work today. I just rested from the trip. I'm sure I'll be getting a call from my supervisor tomorrow. Making sure I'm good and going to get my stuff done. But yes, I will get my stuff done. Okay. Alright, let me kind of move it around a little bit. There we go. Because it's still a little wet. So. <gasps> Y'all, this is so cute. It turned out cute. Okay, so now we got little ribbon, little buffalo chow ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to take it and we are going to make this into like a little ornament. And, um, kind of like this, but you can keep it like this as well. But I'm going to turn into like a cute little ornament. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of line it up on the side. And kind of make sure it's a little bit even. Yes. Okay, y'all. So let me kind of do this. Line it up on the side right here. So I don't want glue seeping through. I just kind of, I need it to kind of stay. So let's do that. I'll put that right there. And this is Dollar Tree Ribbon, y'all. And they will come out with this around. They do it year around. And they really bring it out around Valentine's Day. But sometimes you can catch it around Christmas time when they're getting Christmas stuff out. So y'all be looking for it if this is something y'all are looking for. Because, yeah. Definitely. Make sure I got all that good so we can... Make sure I got it on there even, y'all. Okay, y'all, look at this. We have a, and this, this is light, so I'm not going to add any popsicle sticks on this. But this is so cute. And then I'm going to add some more hot glue on the back right here. Just so it'll hang how I need it to. Let me put right there. Ah, y'all, the little glue stick. That way it'll hang how I need it to. Let me kind of move this over here. Okay, y'all. There we go. Just gonna stay down. Yeah, make sure it's gonna dry. All right, look, y'all. We have us the cutest little ornament. So we just took a Dollar Tree ornament and we bumped it up to like high scale ornament or whatever you want to say. We just put on a little touch on it. But you can also use these little ornaments to hang on cabinets and things like that. So, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video enjoy josh over here trying to help me out <laughs> bless it when i saw that i thought this is not good because i have my whole christmas bin over here to the side like the whole tub and it's a whole big big tub y'all so anyways if you think you got a lot of christmas crafting going on look we got some more coming because i've been going through it so i love y'all this is martha with bu crafty and um yeah i cannot wait to share y'all my next video, my next project, okay, y'all? So let me know what you think and let me know what 
you would have done with this or what you know or what you've done with this 